shovel. Iron shovel. Oh, God! Whoops! Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another tutorial for me on Equivalent Exchange 2. This one is the Dark Matter and Red Matter Furnaces, so without further ado, let's start crafting. To make a Dark Matter or a Red Matter Furnace in Equivalent Exchange, first you're going to need one furnace. A regular furnace, one of those dinky little furnaces that you always need have like six or seven of in your house. And there you go. And now, next you're going to need Dark Matter Blocks. Just take a piece of Dark Matter... And boom, you've got dark matter blocks. You need eight of those. And then you take your furnace and you surround it by dark matter blocks. And there you have a dark matter furnace. I have one over here. And there you go. In order to make a red matter furnace, you need to do the same thing with red matter. You only need one set, but I figured it'd just be nice to make more. <laughs> there you go. And there you have a red matter furnace. Okay, now the way dark matter and red matter furnaces work, as I found a good place to do this, is that they Im they run, I think, at like twice the speed of a regular furnace, and the red matter runs at like four times the speed. And I'll just explain later. They can be powered by any adjacent relay, and they place full stacks in into any adjacent chest, such as an alchemical chest like I just showed you right there. So first thing, I have two stacks of 64 iron. Let's showcase with the dark matter furnace first. So you can see it's moving, as far as I know, it's moving faster than the electric furnace in, equal, in uh, IC2. And as you can see, it has a chance of, a 50% chance of doubling any output for ore. So if, if it burns one ore, there's a 50% chance it will give you two bars out of it. And the full stack of iron is then transferred into here. So you could just dump a whole bunch of uh, ores into here and walk away while it works. Love this scenery. Hey, friendly creepers! Yay, hi, friendly creepers! And now that that's done, I'll just throw it in there. Now, like, say you had a gem of eternal density in there, and you had, like, nothing but gold and iron in here, that would be incredibly productive. Or you could, you know, use those resources to upgrade to red matter, and look how much faster it goes. And it always doubles the output of your ore. It's got a 100% uh, rate, so say you put a lot of gold in here, and you went ahead and put a gem of eternal density in there, which I think I will actually do, so I'll just put this all the way. Now let's just say I have four stacks of 64 gold. I went mining downstairs and found a whole bunch of crap. And I also have mm, a gem of eternal density. I'm not going to show you how to build that, because that's not what this tutorial is about. Throw the gem in there, immediately condenses, and throw my ores in there. And now, we wait. Alright, we're back guys, and it's done. I did some math off screen, and to put this in perspective, four stacks of 64... I can't remember what I was just doing. <laughs> four stacks of 64 is 256. When you multiply each one by two, that's 516 bars. Four stacks of 64 plus two stacks of iron give you dark and two red matter. That's the power of the red matter furnace. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want any more, just tell me, and I'll endeavor to make it as quickly as I can. Oh my god, there's a black sheep down there. Racism! Later, guys. Dun-dun-dun!